99 points, 98 points, 95 points, 94 points. Now the list doesn't end. Um, we're talking about Ulysses 2016. Do you think it's that worth it? Well, join me for the journey of tasting beautiful wine and let's check it out. Today we're going to talk about Ulysses 2016. Um, we just got in stock day before yesterday actually. Um, I've tasted the previous vintages and um, on par, on par. Just a small tidbit about Ulysses. Uh, you must have heard about Christian Mouet and Todd Mostero. Uh, a great wine make, great winemakers. Um, you must have heard about Dominus. You must have heard about Napanook. Now these are, this is the team that puts their heart in making wine. And uh, that is what reaps about this beautiful Oakville uh, juice. Uh, a bit more about the vineyard. Uh, Ulysses was acquired by Christian Mouillet and his team in 2008. Um, and uh, it's actually, I have, you know, seen that they started making wine or they released the first vintage in 2012. Um, from that point onwards, because of his name, because of his, his contribution to the wine industry, um, uh, it has been in a limelight. Uh, so, you know, I don't doubt that this vintage is any lesser of a wine compared to the older vintages. Actually, when I told you the rating, 99 points uh, by James Suckley, Venus rated it 98 points, Robert Parker put it 95, Wine Spectator 94. Um, I mean, these are the critiques uh, which give uh, ratings and uh, I don't doubt them, but um, I'm curious that it stands up to their mark. So let's check it out. Uh, let's review Ulysses 2016 from Oakville. Let's air it a bit. So I poured it in a big Bordeaux glass. Let it aerate nicely. Just, just by swirling the wine in the glass, I can just smell, I can just smell the berries, my God. It is, you know how these people have magic in their hands and that is the reason that, you know, uh, such a great wine. I mean, if, if all the wines smell like this, nobody's gonna drink water. So let's check the nose. Oh. Very complex. Oh my God. I cannot put my hand on it. Like, like sweet berries, you know, cherries, Bing cherries. I get that, that nice dry herbs, you know, like, like sage, bay leaves, lavender, the dried lavender smell. Tobacco, whoa, whoa. Menthol, licorice, everything is going on in there. Like black tea, whoa. Very, very distinctive wine. Oh my God, look at the legs, look at the legs guys. Thick. I mean, like, looks like whiskers. Deep purple. Look at the color. Like, oh wow. Literally black. Literally black. Like, you know that terracotta cheese? I smell that, that, that nice, nice odor of that. Hmm. Enough about nose. Enough about nose. Can't stop smelling it, man. Can't stop smelling it. Wow. So, 
one more thing about their viticulture um, or how they how they make wine so the vineyard is 100% dry farming so there is no they do not water the the grape wines and so what happens because of that the roots actually dig deep into the ground and uh, what I have seen noticed heard uh, it's that 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 makes the the, the, the grape wine put put 100% into that small little berries and uh, it just expresses the the terroir uh, of, of, of the soil of the of the surrounding uh, beautifully in that in that wine so Oakville it is southern part of the Oakville AVA and you know in the foothills of uh, the Maya Camus uh, range mountain range and uh, that is where the magic is done checking on the on the palate Oh my god that mid palette is beautifully maintained black fruits that licorice that I was talking about cedar box cedar like tobacco cigar box I would put it at full bodied, very rich, luscious, smooth, very silky, very silky. The tannins are there, like grainy tannins, but oh, look at this. The finish. Oh, just mind blowing. Mind blowing. And the, the texture. Outstanding, outstanding. I, mean, I could go on and on and on about this beautiful look at the texture, you know, like you can just oh it's layered. Wow. Now that finish is I can even taste that finish after Three, four minutes. That's still going on. Boy, oh boy. I guess the big people are right. Uh, it's a blend of uh, Cab, Cab Frank, Petit Bordeaux. It can, it just mixes properly. Oh, can't, can't talk enough of this. You pair it with nice, uh, nice ribeye. Anything. I mean, it's right now, we're not pairing the wine with the food. I want to pair food with this wine. Ribeye, uh, short ribs. Well, so it is. Um, I would not not me being critique of anything I just drink wine a bit more and uh, I definitely agree to the ratings that uh, these people have given uh, James uh, James suckling actually uh, put this wine in his number at number eight in his top uh, 100 wine of 2018 no doubt um, it is right now ready to drink. I would say 2021 onwards, you know, like uh, you can start pouring it. But um, once again, it is on free shipping on our website. Look into it. Talk about it. You know where to call. Have a wonderful day. Cheers.